Hey, how are you? Let me, okay. Facebook is changing stuff and it's driving me crazy. So let's see if I'm actually live. I can't tell at all. Um, all right. Hmm. Okay. I think I'm live. I think. If I'm live, say hey, because like I said, they have changed things up and it's um, a little quirky. Okay, I think I'm actually live. I'm going to get this shared over to our Harris Teeter group. I hope you guys had a great weekend. It's Monday and I'm tired. We, I, we just had to get out of the house today. I couldn't take it anymore. Hey, I am live. Yay. Um, I'm going to get this shared over real quick. I could not take it anymore and we had to get out. So we went over to the Greenway because um, we can walk. The parks, of course, are closed, but we were able to go to the Greenway and stay pretty good distance from everybody and just go for a little walk. It was really nice. It was a gorgeous afternoon, but now I'm tired. <laughs> really tired. Um, so forgive me if this does not go too long tonight. Hey guys. Hey, I'm so glad that I'm actually live. Okay. Let me get this shared over real quick. Okay. Yay. Okay. So lots and lots to uh, talk about today. I know things are super crazy in the store still with um, still not a lot of toilet paper and paper products. Um, cleaners are still a little bit MIA. I have started to see them back in, so I'm only going shopping once a week on Wednesdays. But I have noticed that last Wednesday I actually saw a lot more cleaners than I had. So I was super excited. Although it seems like paper products are still a little MIA. Um, so hopefully that will uh, straighten out shortly. So, um, okay, so I wanna talk about what's on sale right now and then we'll talk about what's coming up. I'm gonna kinda keep it short because I, I am super tired today. Um, but we'll go through all this stuff and answer any questions. I think this feed is flickering. I don't know if it's just me or not. So, um, let me find the highlights of here. So it is, I swear I'm losing my mind. Is it flickering just for me or is it flickering for you guys? Cause I don't know if it's my computer or Facebook. They have changed things up and I hate it. I really don't like, um, the new thing. I should just go live for my phone. So if I kicks me out i will come back live from my phone but um so the last couple weeks i hear teeter have been kind of ads have been kind of eh, but i have to tell you that next week i'm super excited because it does seem like the sales are kind of coming back in at harris teeter um so i'm super excited I'm, okay linda says it's fine and just must be on my end that it's glitching um, so let me find, oh, one clearance, and I, sh I don't have a to Mrs. Ready. Um, one hair studio I definitely want you to look for. So this is a clearance deal. So it's going to vary by store, but pull-ups were on clearance BOGO at my hair Teeter, making them $5 and 50 cents. Um, and there's a $2 coupon that came out on April the 5th. And then there's a $3 I bought a rebate. And some people have a Fetch Rewards offer. I didn't. Um, but it makes them as low as 50 cents a package. So the I bought is a limit five. I think the coupon's a limit four. Um, so I grabbed five packs at my hair on Wednesday for my sister whose daughter um, is starting to potty train. So I grabbed her a couple of those. Okay, so people are also saying they're missing super doubles. I know we're... Don't expect super doubles until all this starts to kind of work its way out. I know, um, luckily here at like North Carolina, South Carolina, where Harris Teeters are, we haven't been hit as bad as other locations have been with this coronavirus. But um, unfortunately, we're still not going to see like a super doubles event until majority of this has you know, kind of petered out, which who knows how long that's going to take, unfortunately. Okay. So a few other deals besides that BOGO clearance to look at for Harris Teeter. So 
Dan and Oko's yogurt is on um, regular price $1.25. There's a coupon on Mula Semi Mom making it free. Um, you can print that out. This coupon um, doesn't, it beeps because of how it's coded, but it's a match for the coupon. So raised fly ribbons, um, which if you've never used them, they're, they come in like a little cylinder and you pop it and you pull the string in it. Be super careful when you do this because that stuff is like uber sticky. You will not get it off of you. Um, this yellow tackiness and you hang it up and bugs get caught to it. And we used it when we had moths got in something. Still have never found it. And they were all over the garage. And I hung that up and like every single one of them got stuck to it. It was awesome. I hung it really close to the light fixture. The bar's awesome. But this stuff is super sticky. And if you let it touch the ceiling or the wall, it's going to be on everything. Um, but it's free. There's a coupon on the last of mom you can print out. But it does beep. Um, so definitely um, keep an eye on it. But it's, it's a match uh, according to the verbiage. Um, let's see what else. Good culture. Uh, cottage cheese cups are on sale for $1.25. There's a 50 cent off coupon linked on Mula Semi Mom, which makes it 25 cents. Oh goodness, here comes the odds. Let me drop a link to this. Okay, where can I go? Okay, um, here I see her links. Okay, oh, Michelle says her stockpile is so handy right now. She hasn't gotten her unemployment check. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, but her husband is out of work due to a medical issue, and they don't know if he's going to be able to go back. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, Bonnie says she, said she had a scary article today that says Clarks and Lice Works will be a while before they have inventory due to the ingredients. Um, coming from overseas, it's hard to get right now. Um, so yeah, I know that there's going to be a lot of products that are still kind of hard to get. I think that we, I found, um, I don't know if it's still on stuff. Let me look. Um, I found hand sanitizer today, which I have been searching for because I'm actually had been passing up, um, all of the hand sanitizer deals because I had so much. And then when, um, this all happened, it's out of stock now. I hope it was still in stock when I placed my order. Um, I had been passing up all the deals. I was like, I have three bottles. I'm fine. And then all this happened and my hand sanitizer is like diminished quickly. Um, so I did find some online at five and below today. It was really expensive, like five bucks for 18 ounces, but it looks like it's out of stock now. So Think outside the box to the online retails that you're looking for. If you're looking for hand sanitizer, I know my friend Christine, um, she found a way to make it with aloe vera gel and I think it's rubbing alcohol. Uh, I'm just not, I'm, I'm just paranoid about doing that because I know I'm going to mess it up because I'm not good at baking and I know measurement is not my strong suit. So um, I just decided to grab a couple of the bottles um, that I had. I still have a couple little ones and I just need something to refill. So keep your eye out for like, like I was saying, like the places you might norm not normally look for things like Clorox wipes and stuff like that. But hopefully it will all start to work its way out. Way out. Okay. Back to hair studios before I forget. Shalene says she was blessed she found one at Sam's. That's awesome. Yeah, I think it's going to be one of these things where if you spot it and you need it or you know someone who might, just grab it. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be like hit or miss for a little while. Okay. Um, let's see. Harris Teeter two liter sodas are eight fifty nine cents right now. Red grapes are ninety nine cents. So this is a really good deal too. Um, clear eyes eye. Hi, kitty. Clear eyes eye drops are on sale. Buy one get one free at Harris Teeter. Excuse me, Ed. There is a dollar coupon in the March 29th insert, which makes it as low as ninety nine cents. All right, another deal. Um, so Bob says, I was thinking about that too. You posted a Perel deal last Super Doubles and I didn't think I should do, I needed to do it. I should have, I know. I'm kicking myself for a whole bunch of deals that I'm like, why didn't I get it when it was so cheap? Because I was, I felt like I was safe. My stockpile was big. I didn't need it. And I passed on a whole bunch of deals that I'm really kicking myself for right now. Um, but it's all right, because well, meant to. All right, so another really, really great deal I don't want y'all to miss is this um, Act uh, Icy Hot uh, Unisom. There's a ton of different brands. 
and that I'll post the, I posted the link to it already um, in the comments above. But it's buy three, save three dollars. It runs through five nineteen. And there's a ton of coupons to pay. Or some of the highlights are Kids Act Toothpaste, ninety nine cents. Kids Act Mouth Rinse, a um, dollar ninety nine. Isabella loves that because you squeeze it, it fills up the cup, and then it goes down to the perfect amount for her. Um, so, and she's super excited by the way because she lost a tooth last night, another one. So, definitely been making sure we use mouthwash really good to make sure that that hole gets filled in. Oh, I hate teeth. Teeth is not my thing. Um, but a ton of really good deals with that. Um, Hormel pepperoni. So the three to four ounce packages. These are the ones in the cardboard um, little containers. It's like two little pouches together. They're buy one get one free. Make it a dollar thirty nine. Sorry, I do have Coke Zero, even though you wouldn't know it. Um, which out to be, works out to be a better price per ounce than the bags. Harris Teeter half gallons of orange juice are $1.50. Um, no coupons on those. Um, Pepperidge Farm cakes and turnovers are buy one, get one free, making the turnovers $1.99 and the cakes $2. Oh, this is another really good deal that I love. Um, Kakike cheese. They are on sale for 3 bucks, And there's a dollar off coupon on their website you can print out to make it $2. Um, Christine, or sorry, Bob says he found the hand sanitizer at the local Dollar Tree, um, limit of four. And Lasanda says, uh, does anyone remember Lowe's Home Improvement had the text the gift card thing and everyone got a certain amount, um, last year? Are they going to do it again? So yeah, that's so funny because it literally showed up on my memories today. We had gotten a hundred dollars. Um, my husband had texted it from his phone and he won a hundred bucks. I was so excited. We got a ton of stuff that we needed. It was a really great promotion. I highly doubt they're going to run it this year just with the current circumstances and the fact that they are like one of the only retailers open right now and they're getting hit hard. I don't know if you have passed by a Lowe's Home Improvement lately, but they are so busy. The stores are crazy full of people. So um, I don't expect them to be running it this year, but it was a, definitely an awesome promotion that they ran. If you missed it, you texted um, the word spring to a certain number. It kicked you back a coupon anywhere from like five bucks off of any purchase up to a hundred dollars off any purchase. And there was no threshold. Um, Bonnie says we found Martha White blueberry cheesecake muffin mix for a dollar at Harris Cedar. Can't wait to make them easy. Just add water. You could know. See any type of baking. I'm serious. Even baking mixes. It is horrible. Uh, Lynn says find out what day your Walgreens gets a truck and check with them. I was able to get some last week on truck day. Good tip. Find your stores get trucks. Um, Michelle says our Lowe's hasn't been too bad. I, said, I live. Oh, sorry, I have a pitch. Um, I live like a couple minutes away from Lowe's, and I pass by it all the time when I just need to escape, and I decide to go through a drive-through or just get in the car and go to the Greenway. It's been packed in the parking lot, ridiculous all the time. Um, Maria says she got her free llama beach towel. Awesome! So that was a promotion from Quaker chewy bars and you bought three boxes and you got a free llama towel that's awesome I don't, I don't know if i did that i think i did i haven't gotten mine i'm gonna check into that i did do mine okay other sales running um at harris tier and before i forget uh fresh market muffins are buy one get one free. um tide pods are 4.99 there's a two dollar evic coupon or a printable on png's website making them 2.99 um, private selection K cups are BOGO, making them three forty nine through tomorrow. Whole subs are three ninety nine um for the whole sub through tomorrow at Harris Teeter. Any sub you want, hot or cold. And someone said they didn't realize that Harris Teeter made this. So my husband loves this sub at Harris Teeter. It's a chicken parm. It's basically when you have to create your you makeup. So gets a whole sub with the chicken cutlets. They you cut up two pieces of chicken that are fried. You cut them up. Um, we add marinara sauce from the pizza bar and um, provolone cheese or you can mozzarella or whatever else you want and stick, have them heated up. It's like a chicken parm sub for $3.99. That's a great deal. That's cheaper than if you wanted to get like a chicken sandwich at Chick-fil-A. Okay, uh, let's see what other deals are running. Um, Smithfield Bacon is 5 bucks. We don't have any coupons for it right now. Um, my energy drink four packs are buy two get one free makes them 5.99 for a four pack 
pack. So not a bad, not a bad price. Um, okay, so here's what's coming up at Harris Teeter. Pinch. All right, we got some really good deals. So here's my take. Um, I feel like Harris Teeter is actually bringing back some really good sales next week. Um, some of the stuff is still a little higher than normal, like stuff that normally would see 99 cents was like $1.29. Um, but in the last couple ads, but I feel like they're actually bringing back some really good sales. So here is a quick rundown um, of the sales starting on Wednesday um, at Harris Teeter, and this will run through 5-5, okay? So first, um, Boston butts are going to be 99 cents a pound. Yum. I can't wait to do one of those. Boneless, skinless chicken breast. This one totally threw me for a loop. I can't believe they're doing it, but $1.79 a pound. Really great price for Harris Teeter's boneless, skinless chicken breast. It's the value pack. Um, and uh, so that's a good price. Um, Argentina shrimp, buy one, get two free. Blueberries, buy one, get one free. The two pack of avocados are a dollar. So that makes the avocados just 50 cents each. And then raspberries, two for five dollars. Um, Pepsi 12 packs are going to be buy two, get two free. Harris Teeter coffee, buy two, get three free. Nabisco Triscuit, Wheat Thins, Oreos or Chips Ahoy cookies, BOGO. Tostitos, chips and salsa, two fifty. And then there's an EBIC offer on turkey ice cream for $1.97. Go to Turkey Hill's website. There's a dollar off coupon you can print for the trio, the Turkey Hill trio. I'm making it 97 cents the limit for Evic. Okay, tip. The vanilla trio is amazing. The brown sugar bourbon vanilla is the best ice cream outside of Magnums that I've ever had. It is so good. I wish they made a tub of just the brown sugar bourbon vanilla. It is the, if you like brown sugar, it's so good. You've got to try it. Okay, back to a comment. So Lynn says she's talking about meat shortages. So I've done a lot of reading about this. So this all ties back to um, several of the meat plants, Tyson and Smithfield have closed down some of their meat processing plants um, because of the COVID. Um, so a couple things to know. Uh, this is based on what I was reading. So Tyson took out an entire page ad in the newspaper. It was the New York Times or Washington Post. I can't remember. But they took out a full page ad, which, trust me, was really expensive. And they basically said, hey, there's going to be a meat shortage um, because of this COVID. We're having to close factories. But I did a ton of other reading about this. And so some places are freaking out. and like, oh, there's going to be a meat shortage. All that's going to happen now is people are going to run to the store in the next two weeks and buy up all of the meat. Um, so I really don't feel like that was helpful. Some of the, the sources I was reading, and I'm very particular about what I read and who I read. So this is, it's not like just random people. Um, some of the experts that actually know about the food um, process, because there's so many pieces, which is why we're having toilet paper shortages right now, like legit toilet paper shortages. There's so many pieces to how our food process works, our, our supply chain. Um, that there is already a bunch of meat prepared and in freezer storage places. So like Harris Teeter's chicken actually comes in frozen. Um, you know, the meat actually comes in frozen from most of their meat does. So there's already a bunch of like bacon and pork butts and stuff that has been processed and it just hasn't made it to the store yet. Could there be a delay in getting stuff to the uh, stores yes but the other places I'm reading besides like all the freaking out about the Tyson ad basically they took out an ad was that um Tyson has a reason behind them putting out the ad they're not just going to put out an ad that says like we're not going to bring you meat like what would be the point of that there's some reason behind it I don't know what the reason is but there's some reason they would take out a huge ad about why there's going to be a shortage um I don't feel like you need to go to the store and buy a ton of meat because Tyson and Smithfield actually, while they have a huge um, factories and stuff, they're not they're not the only processor processors of our meat products. So just because they're having issues doesn't mean everyone is, and it doesn't mean um, 
that you need to run out and buy millions of packages of bacon. Um, well, I mean, you could because bacon is like that amazing and that important, but I wouldn't. So my point being is I feel like there are some factories having issues and having to shut down because of this COVID and having an enormous amount of people having it in their factories. And yes, people need to come first. We can eat green beans for canned green beans if we have to or whatever. Um, but uh, anyways, just don't freak out about it. I feel like that they are, they're a huge processor, but they're not the only processors, if that's my point. So true, Holly. There's just creating mass hysteria. There's more than enough foods because restaurants aren't buying anything and there is stuff in the reserves. Angela, 100%. So um, they're having a lot more uh, Rayford, House of Rayford Chicken and Mountaineer Farms are both two places that used to sell to restaurants that are obviously not selling as much to restaurants right now. So they're selling their chicken wholesale. I think Mountaineer sells tenderloins in bags and 10 pound bags. And then House of Rayford is boneless, skinless chicken breast that's not been completely processed. Like it still has a little bit of fat on it and it's butterflied. So I had to trim mine up and it's 40 pounds too. You can go to both of their Facebook pages and see the events. Um, there will be a line. I know the other day in Raleigh, like they actually had to shut down highways. Um, but my sister went towards the end of the event and was able to get taken. So um, just know you're either going to go early and sit in line for a really long time or go late and you might find that they're sold out. Um, but they do have a really good price. It's $45 for 40 pounds of chicken with the house of bread. Um, Susan says she went to IGA to get steaks. They have delicious ribeyes. She said, I know you're picky about your meat, but you should check them out. I grew up in Dunn and IGA. I pass by um, Dunn. I go to Dunn every Friday. I've never looked at their meat. Um, they're just selling stuff cheap because of the excesses because of closed restaurants. So true. And yes, Amanda, you can always check with local farmers, um, especially if you like grass fed um, or, you know, organic or whatever. There's a ton of local farmers all across the country um, that I'm sure will um, continue selling. So there, we don't have a shortage of animals that, um, or actual meat, but we have the short, the problem with the processors. And again, just to reiterate, just because Tyson is saying that they're having an issue doesn't mean that every processor is. Some of them took um, earlier steps to mitigate the um, the issues in their factories so that their employees would be safe. I'm not saying, not making statements about how Smithfield or Tyson did or did not, just saying that other places already took steps earlier so they're not seeing the huge amounts that the, the bigger ones are. So. Okay, um, back to Harris Teeter deals uh, that are running next week. So, Kikike pork or, or beef chorizo is going to be on sale 99 cents. There was a coupon on their website for 50 cents off too, but it looks like it's gone. So, hopefully, you got it earlier. Um, ballpark beef franks are going to be buy one, get one free. Um, let's see, what else? Um, Pompeii and olive oil is going to be buy one, get one free. Hey, Alec, how are you? Okay. Wishbone salad dressing, buy two, get three free. Um, remember with buy two, get three frees, you have to buy five and you will get the discounted price. Um, if you buy less than five, you pay full price for all of them. Um, tied hundred ounce will be 11.99. Um, I'm just like strolling through Zesta and crab cracker crackers will be buy one, get one free. Auto Paso Taco Kits will be $2.50. Auto Paso Taco Shells, $1.25. Hair Cedar Crouton, $0.79. Cents. Um, pretty much that there. Holly says, buy rate in Stokesville, Stokesdale has tons of deals with this going on. Trucks coming in daily for those in the area. Trucks come in daily, posting for boxes of chicken, bacon, etc. Can't hurt to check them out if you're looking. Um, okay, so here's another really, really great deal. Uh, Keebler Sandies are going to be buy one, get one free. We have a 75 cent coupon that came out back in March sometime, which will make them 39 cents. And the Keebler Sandies, let me tell you the best thing to do with them. Get the shortbread and put a tiny bit of that Turkey Hill um, vanilla ice cream in between two of those shortbread cookies and make an ice cream sandwich. Roll them in sprinkles. Mm, so good. 
Okay, um, let's see what else. Oh, so one thing Harris Teeter did do is they shortened their ad from six pages down to four. So they're not having less sales, but they're having less advertisements in their flyer. So, um, hey, Bob's, come here. Um, so some of the deals, you'll have to wait for the unadvertised. Bubbles is saying hi. Hi, Bubs. Hey, Bubbles. Look, say hi. Okay, um, so Taco Bell shredded cheese is going to be buy one, get one free. Solero popsicles are going to be buy one, get one free. Thank you, Kathleen Ke Keebler came out on 3-8. Um, Harris Cedar shredded cheese are going to be $2.00. It's probably going to put it just a little bit cheaper than the Taco Bell. Um, the kits are going to be $2.50, Annie. Um, let's see. Uh, Halo Top ice cream, $3.50. Chobani flips. Um, the multi packs are going to be $3.99. Oh, the Dannon yogurt, the Okios yogurt is going to be a dollar. And we still have that coupon on Mulan Semi Mom, so you'll get that free. American flatbread. Sorry. Pizza is going to be buy one, get one free. All right. Let's see what else. Okay. So this is um, one of my favorites. Coke six packs is going to be buy two, get three free. These are the bottles. Um, the fried or baked chicken, um, eight pieces are going to be $4.99. Holy guacamole and verde sauce are going to buy one, get one free. Um, and, here's two. and then we have a really fun Kellogg's buy five, save $5 promotion. So if you buy five of these purchasing items, you'll save $5 instantly. It's going to be a limit per transaction, and there's some really great deals. Okay, so uh, Raisin Brand Special K and Frosted Mini Weeks are going to be $250. Uh, Special K bars, Nutri-Grain bars, $250. These were for the buy five, save $5. So the buy five, save five is actually going to take off a dollar each. So um, Pop-Tarts are going to be two bucks. So buy five, save five, there'll be a dollar. There's actually a coupon on Kellogg's Family Rewards. You can cash in points to get a dollar off any pop tarts coupon which will make them free so here see we'll take up to three of those so buy five pop tarts use three coupons you'll pay two bucks for five boxes of course you can mix and match um these with the cereal or the other products um kashi cereal will be three dollars after buy five save five i'll make them two and kellogg's dry crispy treats are going to be two dollars buy five save five they'll make them a dollar there is a coupon on kellogg's family rewards um, for a dollar off Rice Krispie treats, and um, it costs points eight hundred and fifty, I think, which will make them free. Grisel wants to know is there a meat bonanza? I don't know. It's not next week, um, so I don't know if they'll have any more. Um, buy five, save five is going to be one per transaction, Karina um, at Harris Teeter. So I don't know um, if that, there shouldn't be a limit. Um, everything else, okay. So, I'm going to tell you some of the highlights at Food Lion right now, and then we'll talk about what's coming up. There's a couple of things that you don't want to miss at Food Lion. I definitely feel like Harris Teeter and Food Lion are both bringing the deals back next week. I felt like the last couple weeks have been, uh, which I understand, we're going to get through this mess and figure out what's going on. Um, where is it? But the last couple of weeks have been really slow at Hair Steer and Food Lion with the um, promos and sales. I kind of feel like they're coming back. I think right at Food Lion so tomorrow. Um, St. Louis style pork ribs, $1.79 a pound. International Delight creamers are $2.99. We have a coupon making them $2.49. They have a big bag, over two pounds of Cavendish French fries. Never seen that brand before, but they're $1.99. Um, pita bread's $1.50. And um, so that's just a couple of days. I didn't make it to Food Lion to walk through to find all of the great deals, but I'm going to try to go next week. I just kind of ran in and then ran out of Food Lion. Okay, next week, Food Lion. Um, boneless strip steak, $6.99 pound. Um, avocados and mangoes, two for a dollar all week. Uh, Entenmann's Little Bites, buy one, get one free. Pepperidge Farm Cookies, buy one, get one free. Doritos, $2.50. Food Lion Pasta, $0.88. Cents. Pepsi, 12 packs, three for 10. Um, and then we have a hot sale, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at Food Lion. So Coke products are going to be $0.79. Cents. Coke, two liters, $0.79. Cents. Keebler 
Um, cookies, $1.88, you know, that 75 cent coupon that came out on March the 8th. Uh, flavored Cheerios, buy one, get one free. Utz potato chips, $2. And then Corona, Dos Equis, and Modelo, $12.99. Um, but that's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday only. Okay. Um, shank portion hams, hams, 99 cents a pound. Fresh chicken leg quarters, 59 cents a pound. That sold in a 10 pound bag. Smithfield bacon, $4.99. Um, oh, this is like my weakness at Food Line. I'm just gonna have to like close my eyes and pass this. Um, their glazed homestyle glazed donuts are buy one, get one free. Um, they are so good, so good. And then they're also having their pizza dough balls on sale, buy one, get one free, which makes them 99 cents. I love their pizza dough balls, which I need to make myself a note um to post about that. Um they're so good. Uh, Sabra guacamole is going to be buy one, get one free. Um, Fresca salsa, buy one, get one free. Um, let's see what else. Um, Prego salsa, $1.99. Um, El Terrifico white cheese dip, $3.99. Mission tortillas, $2.50. Hernandez taco sauce, $2.50. Olay tortillas, buy one, get one free. Completely forgot we're talking about like a Cinco de Mayo. I was like, why are all these foods on sale? Well, it's because it's Cinco de Mayo. Um, let's see. Zing Zang cocktail mix. Hello, they have margarita mix. Buy one, get one free. Super excited about that deal. Um, late July tortilla chips, buy one, get one free. What else? Pretty much... Um, there's gonna be a bunch of digital coupons. It's gonna make Tide simply two forty nine. See what else? I think someone said they needed a cat food deal. Um, corn on the cob three for a dollar, and limes three for a dollar. Pretty much it at Food Line next week. Um, the advertised stuff. Um, Bob says excited about the buy five safe photos. I'm super excited about the pop tarts because I haven't actually bought pop tarts in a while and they've eaten up all of the um, toaster strudels that we got like really cheap at food lion with some promo and so i'm out so i'm like okay pop tarts will take their place karina says i'm finding food line to go more helpful than harris teeter express lane harris teeter express lane if you're unfamiliar with it is you can go on and place an online order they'll shop it for you and then you just drive up and pick it up um they're Put their uh, booking over a week out. So if you try to place an order today, your order probably wouldn't be able to pick, be picked up until Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday of next week. Like not this week, but the next week. Um, so whatever's on sale right now, you think you're getting that sale price, but you're really not because it's not gonna be on sale next week. But it's been super glitchy lately, like ridiculously. You search for a vino and like it pretends they only have one vino product in the store when I know they have more. So it's been super, super glitchy, but I find also that Food Lines has been pretty accurate um in showing what they have. So it's not been as bad as um as Harris Two Years Express Lane has been super glitchy. Kitty, what you doing? Today is the anniversary, by the way. And you've never seen this cat because she refuses to come out. Um, her name is Dragon. She's our second cat. She, We found her as a kitten stuck in the rafters of the barn. And I don't know how she got there. Um, but it was just a coincidence because we rarely go into the barn. Um... And so I just happened to go up there one day and there was this little kitten, I mean like a little kitten in the rafters and she um, jumped down and then she jumped in my daughter's arm and now they're like the best of friends, but she will not come out. But today's her, her gotcha day. We found her three years ago. Totally random. I'm sure you don't care, but okay. Lyric says, how did I not know about these live sessions? It's great. Yeah. So we go live every Monday um, at 830 and um, I try to last until 9 30 it doesn't always happen because i am not a night person i'm an early bird um so we'll talk about what's on sale now and what's coming up i'll answer any questions that come up we'll just chit chat um so especially being stuck at home right now like this is the only time i get to talk about something other than have you done your homework and no you cannot play fortnite anymore because you've had enough that's my life right now have you done your homework and no you're done playing fortnite Okay, so um, 
let me think what else to tell you. So three inserts are coming Sunday. Some areas might only see two. So there's two small retail me knots. Some areas might buy them into one. I have the preview up on Lila Semi Mom. Um, I will go get my inserts on Friday from the newspaper. And then I will um, we'll go live on Friday with the actual coupons that are coming. Also wanted to warn you because I had some people comment, um, send me messages about someone else has been posting like online Amazon paper towel deals and stuff. And they wanted to know what to do because they got scammed. Just want to tell you, be really careful if you're finding like super cheap paper towels or toilet paper on Amazon right now. Check the seller's ratings. If they don't have any ratings, honestly, I would not buy it. Now, Amazon is really great about giving you refunds. But it's just, don't even play into their hands. If someone is selling, you know, Cottonelle for a ridiculously cheap price on Amazon and they have no ratings or like two ratings, just don't, it's, if it's too good to be true, it's probably too good to be true. Now that said, last I heard, and I haven't checked it out because I still have a decent amount in my side pile, not as much as I want to have, but a decent amount. Um, Quilted Northern was selling directly to customers so it's all out of stock <laughs> never mind <laughs> they were in stock this morning but it's out but their prices are a little high even for uh grocery store regular prices like 24 mega rolls is 28 dollars um so i mean not um ridiculous but not amazing as we're cooking um, yeah, you must check the seller. You like seriously, if they have zero stars or um, no reviews, and then the the toilet paper deal is too good to believe, it's probably good to believe. So um, let's not give these people any um, money. Okay, so um, Publix. There's definitely a few deals at Publix that I because. Um, Kathy was asking. Oh, someone asked about the series. Um, select series Kellogg's. It's Raisin Bran, Mini Wheats, and Special K for two fifty. Um, now there may be other things included, but that's all that. Um, so on Wednesday when I get to the store, I'll definitely add any others. Um, that so right now at Publix, a few deals I don't want you to miss. One, check your Publix e coupons for a free coconut water product e coupon. Um, it expires at the end of May. Also, Rachel Ray dog food is on sale. Buy one, get one free through Tuesday. There's a coupon that came out on Sunday, it makes it as low as $2.79 a bag, which is a really good price. Um, also, I don't have with me a Vino um, facial moisturizer. It's called a Vino. Positively Radiant um, Daily Moisturizer. It's normally like six, seven bucks. It's on sale for four fifty. There's a four dollar coupon on Mula Semi Mom making it fifty cents. I so got that, like all my wrinkles. Um, so I got that. Mission Tortillas. Or I'll buy one get one free. There's a dollar coupon that you can print out. There's a link to it um, in our public page. I'll put the link here. Um, make some thirty seven cents. That. Um, Yo Play Yogurt's on sale for 50 cents. There's a coupon at Mila Saving Mom. Magnum Ice and Outshine Bars are both buy one, get one for this week. Um, they also qualify for Fetch Rewards. I think that's most of the public stuff. Oh, Clorox Fabric Sanitizer. Um, so it says it does 99% of bacteria and something, not viruses. So just a heads up, it doesn't say viruses, but I am going for anything and everything right now. So they're on sale for four bucks. There's a coupon on Moolah Saving Mom for them. Um, coming up on Wednesday at Publix, um, tons of, not a ton of BOGOs as we normally see, less BOGOs than usual, but um, let's see. See, I'm just scrolling some other pictures. I think I hate about Publix's ad is that they put like 20 different things in one box and only show one picture. Um, so it's kind of like you scroll through and don't know what you're actually seeing. Um, 
Auto Pass or Taco Dinner Kits are going to be buy and get one free. There's the gas card um, coupon in the Publix flyer. It's only good Wednesday through Sunday, though. Um, sirloin boneless steaks going to be five ninety nine a pound. Pineapples are going to be $1.50. That's a deep deal for a pineapple um, at a grocery store. Cilantro, $0.99. Cents. Uh, we, our cilantro is growing. We were able to pick some this so we um, were able to get um, uh, lettuce and cilantro from our garden in this year. I'm super excited. I say my garden, but kids actually built the boxes themselves and grew everything in it. And the pumpkins are ridiculous. I should show you a picture. I, do I have a picture? I think I deleted everything on my um, – but we threw pumpkins into the compost pile last year after Thanksgiving uh, – Halloween and like we have huge pumpkin plants now that are growing out of there out of the compost bin Okay, Angela says Harry Cedar had a whole display of a sanitizer called microband for $4.99 I think we even have a coupon for them. I'm not sure Okay, um, that's all that like jumps out at me just scrolling the ad progresso broth is gonna be buy one get one free Heinz barbecue sauce is gonna be buy one get one free Okay, I really want to try this has anyone tried the doughlish ready to eat cookie dough at Publix? They're gonna be buy one get one free next week. I love cookie dough. Like I would eat cookie dough over regular cookies any day. Peter Pan peanut butter bogo. Oh goodness. Uh, Post great grains and juicy juice, hundred percent juice. Buy one get one free at Publix next week. Mayfield ice cream. Buy one get one free. Um. All laundry detergent, buy one, get one free. I think we had coupons come for them on Sunday, too. Um, Pretty much all that. Like, I'm just scrolling through the pictures right now. We don't have matchups for them yet. Okay. Karina says, I can't wait for my lettuce, cilantro, and garlic. We didn't do garlic. I've never tried garlic. But we did. Uh, my kids planted uh, peppers, squash, zucchini, cucumbers, pumpkins, cantaloupe, watermelon, Lettuce, two types of lettuce, um, cilantro, basil, lavender, thyme. I think that's it. And marigolds all around. So super excited to see um, how it all goes. So, okay. All right. I think that's pretty much um, everything. I have the hair studio sneak peek spreadsheet up. My Drop the Food Lion spreadsheet. Um, I will get all of the actual lists posted first thing tomorrow morning. Um, if you haven't already, text the word coupon to 6866. That will sign you up for our nightly email. Um, you'll get just one recap of all the coupons and everything that came out today, that day. Um, you can visit me last night, Mom, for all the deals. Um, I don't know... And that's all I have for you guys. And this Facebook is like glitching on my ends, like keeps flashing and driving me crazy. Okay. Um, Kathy says gas points will be added to points or how does that work? I'm not sure what you mean. Um, if you're talking about Publix, it's in the flyer and you'll get a $10 um, off. I'll tell you what the flyer says. It says $10 off the purchase of a $50 gas card with a grocery purchase of $50 or more. So basically, you have to buy a $50 um, Publix gas card and a $50 worth of groceries, and you get $10 off um, the purchase. So you're, um, you know, get $10 off the gas card. Any loads for low, any deals for Lowe's Foods next week? Cool. Amanda, I always forget. I'm so sorry. Yeah, give me a second. I'll pull up the Lowe's flyer. Um, so Lowe's Foods has shut their flyers down to two pages, which, um, Makes it like not a lot of advertised stuff. So give me a second. What's that? The 29th. Okay. On Wednesday at Lowe's Foods. Um, easy pill shrimp, buy one, get one free. Boneless skin and chicken breast, $2.47. A hot sparkling water, BOGO. Blackberries and raspberries, BOGO. Pizzazz apples, 98 cents a pound. That's a pretty decent deal. Um Palermo Pizza, buy one, get one free. Mayfield ice cream, buy one, get one free. Um, tied 100 ounce will be $9.99 after e-coupon. Um, 
Oh, there's a really great guy. Thank you for asking, uh, Amanda. Um, so there's going to be a gift card deal at Lowe's Foods starting 429 to 512 for Mother's Day. Um, $10 off your next order, so it should be a Catalina. Um, hopefully, when you buy $50 worth of Kohl's, Outback, Belk, Sephora, or Spa Finder. So I know what my mom's getting. She's getting a Kohl's gift card. Um, and I'll get $10 off my groceries. And then um, also remember that you get... Um, uh, uh, fuel rewards at Lowe's Foods too on the gift cards. Uh, let's see what else. Ortega products are going to be two for three dollars. The taco sauce, taco shells, um, and beans. Pineapples are going to be two ninety eight. All detergent three fifty. Pepsi two liters. Buy one get one free. Pretty much it because their flyer is super small. Um, yeah, like that's pretty much all the highlights off of it. Um, oh, so the hair seeder is extending fuel rewards. I believe it said, um, hold on one second. Um, uh, hair seeder has extended their fuel, um, March fuel rewards. Hold on. Um, so what it said is that on May the 2nd, any remaining March that will be added to your April balance and won't expire until March 31st. So let's just say you have 600 or 60 whatever fuel point fuel reward points from March on May the second. Um, they will add it, so you won't you won't see that expiration date extend until May second. Um, so that's what it said. Okay, and yes, Bonnie, thank you for having me. They're gonna have four fuel reward. Or leave it coupon starting on Wednesday at Hair Cedar um, on gift cards. Okay. All right. So, because I went to 9:10, and with this thing um, glitching in my face every two seconds, I'm surprised I haven't just given up. So much jumping around in her room. Um, so, I'm going to log off. I'm going to get the food line spreadsheet up for you guys. We'll have all the printable lists up tomorrow morning. Um, and like I said, uh, is a jumping around I'm like jumping in her room her room's like right above me um so we'll have all the lists up and like i said it seems like the deals are slowly starting to come back into the stores i feel like they kind of took a hiatus the last couple weeks um with the sale prices kind of being eh, but we do have some promos and sales coming back so hopefully um this will all slow down and life can get back to semi-normal sooner rather than later. I miss couponing trips. I miss, I'm only doing one shopping trip a week and my stockpile, is anyone else's stockpile taking like a huge hit? Um, like I'm literally seeing the bottom of my freezer, um, which freaks me out because I have not been able to stock up on meat. Um, I did get the chicken from Rayford, House of Rayford, but um you know, I'm not able to do multiple trips a week. Like I usually go to Hair Cedar Public and Food Lion and then go back to Hair Cedar and back to Food Lion at least one other time. And now I'm not able to do that. And so my stockpile is dwindling. Like we are out of granola bars. Um, we are, we're totally out of bread right now. Karina says hers too, um, which I never happened because I would always be able to go and grab all the bread on sale and like twice a week. And like I, have no no sandwich bread. I was like, sorry y'all, you have to wait till Wednesday. Eat a tortilla. <laughs> like literally that was my comment today. Eat a tortilla. Um so yeah my stockpile's taking a huge hit. It's not fun. But that's the great thing about having a stockpile is that we do have it and we're not looking for toilet paper and everything else. And hopefully that will start. We saw when this first started we saw a huge loss of meat. We couldn't find meat anywhere. I know ground beef was like ridiculously hard to find. Now that's come back. So we just need the toilet paper and the paper towels and the cleaners to show back up and the hand sanitizer. Um, and then we'll be back in business. So, okay, I'm logging off here. And I'm going to get all that stuff posted for you guys. Um, this food line spreadsheet will be up in a minute. I already have the hair tear sneak peek up with the ad scan. Food line is coming within the next 20 minutes. And then we'll have all the um, matchups for you guys tomorrow morning. Okay, so you have a great week. I'll be back live Wednesday with our regular shop with me. And then I'll be live Friday and we'll go through um, all of the uh, all of the coupons that come out. Okay.
have a great week.